Hey everybody, how's it going? Y'all, I'm running a little bit late. As you're hopping on, say hello. And listen, there are so many comments on that post, I'm gonna have to go back and uh, go through all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna be painting a canvas and what did y'all guess we were doing? Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little brown this is actually apple barrel burnt umber. I didn't mean to drip it. Then I'm gonna put some white on this end. And this is um, folk art. Hey, hey, hey. Oh goodness, okay, there it goes. And it's, listen, it's been a while since I've used some of these paints, so they may be a little dry. <laughs> okay. Hey, from Scotland. Hey, June. Hey, Desi. Are y'all ready? Okay, listen. This is, this is a 16 by 20 uh, canvas. Gosh, this pan is making a weird glare. Okay, I'm going to set it back here for just a second. And listen, how many, how many of you guys have worked on your club transfer? Be sure that you're posting it in the club group. Anyway, this is a 16 by 20 canvas, and we're gonna actually be working on it this way. I'm gonna try to give it like a wood look, and it's, y'all, it's from Dollar Tree, so it's, you know, it's Dollar Tree, tree quality. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thanks for sprinkling. Thank y'all for hopping on. I am going to, let me see. We're going to paint with a paintbrush and some cardboard. We're going to try with this cardboard. Hey, from Southern New York. Thank you for sprinkling. And look, I'm going to, I'm going to make it really jagged because we're going to paint the brown with this right here. Hopefully. I may, I may have to go to a palette knife, but I'm going to try Try my best to go with this. Uh, oh, Debbie said she ain't got a club yet. Um, they start shipping around the 6th. If you don't have it by the 20th, be sure to let me know so you can let customer service know. All right, so piece of cardboard. We're going to try this. And y'all, look. Have you seen the butterflies? They're huge. That's what we're working on tonight. The etched butterflies. Look how big they are. Huge. We're going to just do the big one tonight. Hey, watching from Louisiana. So, Barry went ahead and cut both of them. And like I said, we're working with the bigger one tonight. And both of them have, you know, where it says figure one and figure two. Thank you for the stars. Y'all are so awesome. I have to really look at this to see which one. That's the two, I believe. Yeah, okay. Let me put these out of the way. Hopefully, I won't lose them. I'm going to go ahead and paint the big butterfly first. I'm not going to paint this one yet because we're not doing it yet. And I'm going to paint it white. Maybe if I turn this ring light. Can y'all see me okay? Painting white. I have to keep reminding myself what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just going to use this big paintbrush. Yeah, that, that's better. And y'all, this is one of those Dollar Tree pans. I'm going to add a little bit of water to that white because it was very, very dry. And I'm going to go ahead and paint this because I want to keep a wet edge on the, the canvas. Oh, thanks for all the sprinkles. And y'all, if you don't know what a sprinkle is, that just means that you hit the, hit the share button and you share it in groups with your friends, with your family, whoever. Listen, and I, I'm gonna go back to the post from earlier. I gotta look through it. There was like three or 400 comments. I was hoping to pick a winner while I was on here live, but I gotta go through there. And listen, if I pick you as a winner, and I'll, I'll do my best to tag you, be sure to message me your address because occasionally I 
don't have people message. Hey, Deanne. Oh, yeah. Listen, um, I was so excited to have everything here. Y'all, I paid for overnight shipping on this. But, you know, when we have a launch, the product is so popular that um, it doesn't really go out overnight. And look, you can paint this any color you want. And look, you don't even have to use the wood cutouts. I'm going to use them because Barry cut them out for me. But you can do the same thing on a canvas just with the transfer. Thanks for sprinkling. Thank you, Julie. I got rained on earlier. Somebody was, And somebody was asking me about this hair. Y'all, my hair is was jet black when I was born. It might still be black back there now. But, um, and then I started graying, you know, fairly early. And I started coloring my hair, gosh, probably when I was in my 20s. And I didn't really know what my hair looked like. Yeah, these butterflies are big. So probably, let's see, six years ago, I quit coloring it. And of course, that's a miserable time letting your hair grow out with the color. Seems like it takes forever. Um, okay, so we got this painted white. And I'm going to put it behind me to dry while we work on the canvas. Ta-da! Y'all, isn't that huge? So huge. And actually, he's got all he's got all of the latest release cut. It's shop dot refreshrestyle dot com. If you're waiting for anything else, goodness gracious! And y'all, I gotta try to keep a wet edge when we get to painting this canvas. <laughs> and like I said, this we gonna try it. It might work, it might not. I'm gonna put some more white out. Cause who knows? Who knows what it's gonna do? And listen, I have seen several of y'all making your um remember that night we painted the hydrangeas? Look, if I get any paint on my face, will y'all let me know? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Look, I've already kind of warped this thing. All right, I might have to. I might have to do one section at a time. And I thought, I almost thought about not painting it, and I was like, no, I think it'll work better if I paint it. Hey, from Central Alabama, did you have any storm damage? Listen, did anybody have any storm damage? We had a lot of wind. Yeah, I'm dumping out some more paint. I can already see. It's raining. Yeah, it's raining here, too. And anyway, um, we, I think I was talking about my hair. I, uh, when my hair gets wet, my hair is, like, so straight that it just falls. I have, I have to use hairspray to give me any height. But it's some trouble. Look, I'm going to keep going. I saw Facebook just said something about reconnecting. So, I'm going to keep going. Hopefully, this thing will hold out. I'm, I'm trying to get this painted in a hurry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Somebody said they love the butterflies. Y'all, I love the butterflies. And I was so, like, okay, y'all are back. Let me see if I can do this. Let's see if that helps. Oh my goodness, Facebook. Hopefully we're back for good. But anyway, like what I was saying is, a lot of times we'll have something so popular that it'll sell out that day. So I have been so worried that these butterflies were going to sell out. Also, the, um, the ones with the flowers and the... I'm going to tear this in half. Okay. So now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to touch this into the brown. And I don't want it everywhere. Can you see it's just on those few tips? Oh, goodness gracious. Let me see something. 
I think I I think I was going to put the keyword on here and I didn't ever do it. I got so excited. Okay, so on this wet paint, I think I, I think there's something wrong with the internet, y'all. I am going to drag this across, and I'm gonna I want this to kind of look like shiplap. So, hello again. Can y'all see that? What I'm hoping is that it will look a little bit like wood. I don't have one of those brayer things. Oh gosh, something is wrong with the internet. So now I'm gonna start on this end and come this way. What in the world is going on with this internet? Okay. I'm going to go back through here. Let's see. And I know the butterfly is going to take up some space. Are y'all still there? Okay. I'm going to kind of make some knot holes with our paint, with my cardboard. And let me see, a palette knife. I'm gonna kind of spread out some of this brown. Kind of go back over it with the white to make it look not quite so bold. Y'all, I apologize, the internet or Facebook or something has just kind of gone crazy. <laughs> I think it's all right now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Round three, yeah. It's so funny, I haven't actually been going anywhere. It's just that um, the screen kind of goes away. I don't know what y'all are seeing on your end. That's what I'm seeing. So hopefully we're back for good now. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Looks like a marble. Oh yeah, maybe so. Okay, a marbled effect. Once it dry, I'm gonna dry it a little bit. Cause if you don't dry it a little bit, it just keeps getting. Um, let me see if I'm. Let's see if I was back on the internet. Can somebody check and see if the keyword wings, W-I-N-G-S, works for y'all? I'm going to pick up a little bit of white. Kind of go over some of these. Thank you, Diane. Yeah. Be sure to try. And I know I know the butterfly is gonna cover up a lot of it. So, anyway, the butterfly will be here kind of in the center. 
But you can do this with a brush or like we did a piece of cardboard. And now I'm just adding some. A little bit more white. But to me, it kind of makes this cheap uh, canvas look a little better. Kind of. Y'all let me know if that worked. A little brown. Let's let's put a few let's put a few nails on here. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna dry this and see how it looks. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, Kimberly, I'm so glad you're out of the hospital. I gotta put this somewhere, y'all. Okay, thank you. We'll hold this up. See, it kind of looks like wood, or that's my plan. And we're gonna we're gonna put the butterfly on here. Thank you guys for checking. Y'all think it kind of looks like wood? Painted white wood. Awesome. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Lori. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Patty and Sharon. I'm going to dry it just a little bit, and then we're going to start on our butterfly. The butterfly was so big, I had to go get this canvas. Because I needed something big to put it on. Getting close, y'all. I got a big glob up here. Sometimes I get carried away. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling. All right. We're going to trade places. We're going to put this back here. Put this right here. But see how big that's going to be? It's going to be big, y'all. We got to get this dry. Thank you. I've been having so much fun, like, trying to remember my... I used to paint more, not like uh, a professional or anything. But I, uh, I used, used this white and then this brown. It's uh, burnt umber. Thank you, Doris. I'm going to get this dry. Wax it. Y'all, the painting is the, like what takes the longest.
Anybody that's gets up, getting on late, you can rewatch it. Oh my goodness, look at all those stars. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judy. So, thanks, Robbie. Um, what have y'all been doing today? Y'all have a good day? I hope so. Thanks, Beverly. Gosh, look, is this getting, it looks like it's getting dark. Like, what in the world? Okay. All right. Now for this, look. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna kind of look at the butterfly because I'm just gonna add some colors randomly, and then we'll we'll chalk it. I'm just gonna use some paste, different colors. Hope y'all can still see me. <laughs> it's just like, what in the world? So I'm just going to wet my paintbrush, go into some paste, and then just kind of, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the butterfly. <laughs> and you, listen, you could totally, um, you could totally chalk it and then paint it later, but we're going to do it like this because it's super simple. Super simple. It's gonna look crazy for a minute, and then once we chalk it, it'll be, it'll be awesome sauce. It will be awesome sauce. Okay. I'm really thinking, y'all. As I'm like, do not mess this up, girl. Do not mess this up. <laughs> I cannot mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to try not to mess it up. Listen, if we if we don't like it, we'll do it again another day. <laughs> right? If we listen, if we don't like it, we will do it again another day. We will definitely do the watercolor look. which is not exactly like this. Not exactly. <laughs> and look, if you're just hopping on, be sure to come back and watch from the beginning. I'm using, uh, this is uh, guava right now. And then that was eucalyptus that we first put down. This is this is uh, kind of like kindergarten right now. But y'all, whenever you do the black paste on here, it will be amazing. I'm hoping. It's my hope that it will be amazing. You never know. <laughs> so, eucalyptus, papaya, 
And then we're about to go into some um, oh, where is it? Ocean Mist. Are y'all taking are y'all taking bets right now if this is gonna be crazy looking? I've never done this before, so we shall see. We shall see. Got a lot on my brush. Got a lot. Whoops, I don't know where that came from. Look, I got a little crazy with my papaya on this side. That happens, right? <laughs> now I'm just gonna try to do just a wash. Listen, I'm I'm sitting here thinking I hope this looks good. <laughs> I hope it does. I hope it does. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all, I just love playing. Do y'all love playing too? You never know what it's going to look like until you get finished. Kimberly says she's liking it. Thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just hoping I put the colors in the right place. You know? That got a little dark right there. All right, let's get this dry. Here's, okay, here's what it looks like right now. Totally crazy. <laughs> I'm sure y'all are saying, she's lost it. She has finally lost it. She's losing it. Oh yeah, the transfer does all the work. We just added some colors here. Never fear. Let me go ahead and turn my glue gun on. Y'all are not reminding me to turn my glue gun on. Oh, thank you. I love, love, love y'all's outlook. Somebody just said, does Murphy come chalk with me? She used to, y'all, she's 14 years old. Right now, she just mostly sleeps and eats. She has a hard time getting out of the bed, hard time getting, we just have, three steps going down to the backyard and she has a hard time doing that. Feel sorry for her. Lori said her two year old's waving, hey. Kitty wants to know how to move the comments. You used to be able to put your finger on them and slide them to the right, but somebody said there's like a little arrow or something you have to push to get them out of the way. 
If there's anybody on here that knows all the secrets to moving the the comments, let us know. Yeah, you can let your kids do this. As far as like painting this. Oh, we're not putting a bow on it. I've got to, I got to glue this to the canvas that we're painting. It's almost dry too. Almost. I love y'all's confidence. Thank you so much. Yeah, you forgot. Okay. I'm gonna, I am gonna lightly wax this because, I mean, we've, we've been doing a lot of painting. And I want it to... Rhonda says to swipe to the right for those comments. I'm gonna um, wax it because, I mean, I'm hoping that it's dry. Okay. So here it is before. Now let's see what it looks like after. And y'all saw how big this was. The whole thing's 18 by 18. It's really big. I'm gonna fuzz it a little bit. Somebody else is saying something else about the iPhone comments, y'all. The reason you add fuzz is because it's real sticky. And y'all, our new transfers are a lot more transparent. They're not thinner, they're just more clear. So you can um, line up your transfer easier. Whoa, now. I may have to turn it over because I do not want it to stick. <laughs> oh my, parchment paper. Thank y'all for helping everybody out with those comments. Okay, now I'm just gonna hold it up and see if I've got it on here straight or straight enough. Okay, we are, we're rolling with it y'all. We are rolling with it. Let me see. I think I'm just going to do this little figure two. I'm just going to chalk it in black and not worry about painting it. Hey, and look, are those scientific numbers or something? When it says like figure one and figure two? I feel like I should know that. All right, and we're going with black on here. My transfer is not 100% straight, but it's fine. It's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Here we go, y'all. And I, I'm seriously, I really am keeping my fingers crossed that I put the colors in a way that they will look good. Hey, the great thing about wood, you can paint over it, right? <laughs> and this black is just like, just gives it so much detail. Then we're gonna put it on our fake wood board. Now the black will stain your transfer. But just make sure you clean it really well so you can use it again.
I'm trying not to miss any spots. I have a, I have a tendency to do that. Now I'm just going to get off the excess because I like to put it back in my jar. So I can use it later. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Can y'all see this? It's a book number? Okay. Y'all, can you see this? Let me get my little book number. Now I'm going to take this to my sink later and clean it. I gotta stick it over here so I don't drop it while it's wet. Y'all. What do you think? I think the numbers are so pretty. Oh my gosh. It kind of looks like a stained glass, doesn't it? I love it. And then here's our little figure two. I am loving where the colors are. Isn't that gorgeous? Thanks, Rebecca. Now, what you can do, um, you can uh, paste it first and then just paint in between. It kind of reminds me of a sunset. Uh, well, Cindy said she was beginning to wonder about it. <laughs> Cindy, is it okay now? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need to do one that's just all teal. Uh, the word tonight is wings, W-I-N-G-S. Okay. Y'all, we painted a canvas from Dollar Tree. I wanted it to kind of look like old shiplap. So let me see. And we're going to put this on here. Whoop. I can't, I'm afraid I'm going to lose that. So, let me get some of this out of the way. I wanted it to look like old ship lab. I'm going to turn it around so I can get it straight. If you missed the beginning, I showed y'all how to paint this wood look. We'll get the butterfly on here first. And um, you can do the wood look with any color. You can do it more brown. I just wanted it to look like old painted, white, dingy shiplap. It honestly still feels a little damp, but it'll dry. I'm gonna hold this for a second. I'm holding, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's, that it's straight. 
it's all a little damp. <laughs> Figure number two. I've got to put it some, whoops, y'all look. i got to put it somewhere so it can get dry. You don't have to have the number. It's just part of the transfer. You don't have to put that on there. I just put it on there. Because <laughs> it's part of it. All right, y'all. What do you think? What do you think? Love it. Y'all, I have got so many ideas for this butterfly. Um, so, like I said, I... This, this was a new release, and I don't think, I think once things sell out from this new release, it will be gone. I hope not. I hope we keep it forever, but I'm going to try to work on more projects with the butterfly because I love it so much. And you can see the, the wood look that we gave to the board. Oh, well, it's, it's three-dimensional. I mean, if you want to put wood underneath, you can. Um, but, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it get, gives you some ideas. Y'all let me know if you try this paint technique. Um, it's very simple, easy to do. Thank y'all for sprinkling the love. And, um, like I said, Barry's got all the, all the new cutouts for this latest release out there. And if you've tried this, message me a photo. I'll see you guys later. Have a great night. Bye, y'all.